Hey guys, what's up? So today we've got a superior sales brochure. Now this one is from 1978. Um, on the front page we've got this beautiful Lodestar fiberglass hood. Uh, you've got four ways. One thing that I want to mention uh, opinion wise is I think that superiors can pull off uh, just having the one red light and still having all the black paint as if there was going to be a warning light there or an amber warning light. Um, because I, I have seen where schools will put the numbers there on four-way buses. Um, but I do think that that pulls it off well. I think that the way the superior body is designed, that this all being black, you know, appearance-wise looks good even without the amber light. Um, but again, that's just my opinion. So, if we open this up to the first page, you can see it says research, and we've got all these photos. Um, I'll bring it closer to the camera here. There's the Scheller Globe Corporation Vehicle Center. You've got some people looking at a picture. The interesting thing is that little bus on the table there. I don't know if you can make it out, but it appears to be a flat-nosed uh, type B type concept. It's like a transit, but the door is behind the wheel. Now, I know for a fact Ward and Carpenter had similar concepts, but I do not ever believe seeing a superior concept of that. Um, got more tables. This is like a big clay model you can see. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe a dash or something or a front end. I don't know, but they're working on a big clay model. Uh, and then you can see over here, working on the seat cushions. Um... And then, you know, there's a, a test dummy, uh, again, looking at stuff. I believe this is a bus body right there, um, from what it appears to be. Now, turning the page, we've got this very nice Superior Ford. So it says leader. So the little uh, text above is just talking about how uh, they've been leading and all steel construction and stuff like that. Because um, there's a page that shows all the things that Superior did first. But again, I'll just give you another look at this beautiful Superior Ford. It's got the 8-way light system. Next page. So first, let's trigger Cameron. First student. First all-steel bus body. First safety glass in all windows. First kick-out type rubber seals for windshield and rear windows. First scientific testing by an independent firm. First forward-facing seats. First flasher warning lights. First push-out escape windows. First, see-through entrance door. First, central heating power system ducted to other parts of the bus. First, swivel type adjustable bullseye defrosters. First, bottom mounted windshield wipers. First, four piece wraparound windshield for better visibility. First, fiber optic inside lamp monitoring system for drivers. First, zinc steel for rust protection. First, fluted side panels for increased body strength. There are more too, many more, but you can see how superior innovation shaped the future of school buses and how it continues to lead. So, you know, they're talking about the stuff that they've done first. Exclusive, um, here it's just talking about body design. Uh, you can see all this kind of fun stuff. Uh, going to the next page, we've got this really cool diagram of a superior bus body. Uh, strength so there's some a body being welded together so here it's just pointing out all the strength and again as you all know the cut and again as you all know the colors are meaning different gauges of steel uh, moving on we've got this superior Ford very nice looking bus uh, got the push out windows latches got the dome lights inside uh, seating uh, doorway, there's the glass diagram. So, so this is just talking about all the safety features you could get on a Superior bus at the time. So turning the page, this has got to be my favorite page in the whole brochure. It is the inside of a Superior Lodestar. Um, you know, showing all the features, uh, security. Um, and it's really nice to see photos of Superiors that aren't in junkyards and trashed. Uh, let's see. Control. So here we've got some mirror types. You can see. Cross view mirror. 
um, different types of options and, and things that superiors came with. Now this is something I didn't know. I knew they had, you know, light monitors. Um, and I, I've seen the front light monitors, but I didn't know there's actually back light monitors that will light up to show the driver that the rear warning lights are working. I did not know that was a feature. So control, I think I said that already. There's the uh, driver's seat, and it shows you the driver's seat um, going on. Comfort, so, so this is a diagram to show you how the heaters let out the air throughout the bus. Uh, you can see down here the different types of heaters that can go in the bus. Um, and then there's uh, another picture of a heater. That's the switch panel. And then we have wide. This is actually a really wide little bus. This is the Pioneer PC. Um, these are actually kind of hard to find. Um, you can see here the different uh, wheel bases and body specifications, chassis specifications. There's the inside shot. You can see all those... Uh, full-size buses got some load stars and some Chevys and uh, both a fiberglass hood and butterfly hood there's the inside of the Pioneer PC uh, turning the page medium so here's the superior pacemaker also a harder bus to find uh, and then we have the superior van buses uh, little bus I think the little Trident Chevy vans in HO scale are modeled after these guys right here uh, turning the page, choice. So here are a bunch of specifications you can get on Superior school buses. Um, well, you can't get them now because Superior doesn't sell school buses anymore. But you know what I mean. Uh, door. Now here's an option I did not know existed for Superiors. A door that both leaves of the door open outward. I have seen the ones that fold in. I have seen the ones that go one in, one out. But I do not ever remember seeing one that had both sides coming out. Um, you got the, what is that? You've got the uh, dust shield, which is something I only saw in Superiors. The big, long, mud flap type shield that goes behind the rear axle. Uh, got the back tire, body storage, uh, sanders. Uh, got a speaker. There's different types of stop signs. Got the, uh, what was that saying? You got the two-piece wraparound windshield, driver fans, does that look familiar? Uh, air horns, the shoulder pads, um, above luggage rack, got the enclosed tire carrier, which is interesting, and then the uh, head pad for above the door, and uh, there's warning lights and stuff. So yeah, there's all kinds of options you get on those buses back in the day. There's a lighted sign. Uh, now on the back, we've got the Pioneer PC again with the four ways. This one's a lift bus, nice little bus. It says care. Um, what I really liked about this back here was it talks about how special needs buses and, uh, you know, Superior offers them. Um, because I feel like at this time, special needs buses weren't that big of a thing they were still coming into the market um, so most of the time you really didn't have them what I really liked about this is that at, at the at the end of right here it says it says after all every child should get to enjoy a superior ride I really like that I think they did a good good job with marketing that um, and there's parts and service look at that really old computer and then superior Scheller Globe Corporation but anyways back to this real quick it I really like that. I do like how they marketed that, um, you know, because like I said, I feel like at this time special needs buses weren't that big of a thing, um, you know, and they're saying how they offer them uh, so that, you know, everyone gets to go to school because I feel like back in those years, you wouldn't really see a full size, like a conventional special needs bus. You might see a van or something, um, but here they are offering actual school buses with the lifts. Um, so that's pretty cool. So, alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you like Superior buses? I know probably none of my subscribers have ever ridden on a Superior bus because, you know, Superior stopped making buses in the early 80s and most of them were out of service by the mid to late 2000s. Unless you happen to be an older subscriber who happened to ride a Superior, if you are, please feel free to tell me what kind of Superior you rode. Um, I never got to ride one. I've only been on ones that are dead. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think.